something that you've studied in your history class in something modern like a book or a TV or a song and you get it by if you like uh, for example listen to music a song and there's this one song that has the word uh, Renaissance man in it so what we would do is we'd come and tell you the pop culture fact and you'd give us a point for it. So. Yep, call me the Renaissance man, get up then I stay in a center block man Basically, when you say you're watching TV and you're just watching one of your favorite TV shows and they happen to talk about history that relates to the, um, what you're studying in class. Grandpa, quick, tell me everything you know about World War I. World War I? I fought in that. Of course, to enlist, I had to lie about my age. A point that you get from finding something that you're studying in history, like in television or in radio, like in music. Culture point is like when in like TV or music, like something from history pops up, like something World War II or the Renaissance. Age of exploration. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, the designers are here with some prototypes for your casino. I'll need three ships and 50 stout men. We'll sail round the horn and return with spices and silk, the likes of which ye have never seen. We're building a casino. Arr, can you give me five minutes? I think it's pretty easy to find because I mention it on tons of shows. Tons of shows. Peter, can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, what are you doing? Staff? Yes. Nazi stuff? Yes, Peter, Nazi stuff. My sister is uh, like obsessed with The Simpsons, so she got a Halloween thing, a Halloween DVD, and um, Lisa makes her own sort of world. So, how are my little Stone Age tub dwellers? Oh my gosh, they're evolving so quickly. They've already reached the Renaissance. Wait, one of them is nailing something to the door of the cathedral. I've created Lutherans. Oh, I've done um, a game called Age of Empires 2, which is um, it's a game. It has almost as most of the monarchs and areas that we've gone over, like Queen Elizabeth. And I saw an episode on King Louis, and so I would just go into class and tell my teacher that I saw Gilmore Girls and saw a monarch, and then you get the point. Like Mary Antoinette said to Louis XVI, man, I think we're going down. Our chances are slim and none, and I'm afraid slim just left town. Say you will. Donna, won't you say you will? Donna, won't you say you will? It's awesome to see, oh, to see what you've studied in school on TV, and they're like, oh, we just studied that today. That's it's cool. It makes you think about history when you're not supposed to be, like in your spare time when you're watching TV. Because wherever I'd go, I'd be kind of thinking, okay, this is what we're studying in history. I should look for this all around. It helped me remember past lessons too. Thinking if I heard something, oh, we studied that. That was the blah blah lesson there. So it really helped me to think about it kind of outside the box. Roosevelt is also responsible for the teddy bear. The toys were named in honor of Roosevelt when, during a hunt, he refused to shoot an old female bear tied to a tree. After that act of appeasement, this bear went on to shoot Archduke Ferdinand, <laughs> thus igniting World War I. Thanks a lot, Teddy.
really think this is a bad idea? Marge, I agree with you in theory. In theory, communism works. In theory.